This is a brief tutorial on exporting a bibliography from Jabref to rich text format. Now this is something that's already built in to Jabref. If you go open your database, choose File, then Export, and choose... But we don't have a whole lot of choices as far as export filters. The closest one to what I would normally want in a bibliography is the Harvard RTF. So I'll I'll just save this as um, I'll just save this bibliography in the Harvard RTF file. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so it is saved now. Let's go to the desktop and open it up. Okay. It, uh, it is a bibliography. It's formatted according to a style manual, but it's not really the one I like. I prefer Chicago or Turabian, which are very closely related. And to make it format the way I want, I created a custom filter for Chicago. And what you can do, is, if you're in my class anyway, if you're watching this from somewhere else, you'll have to get the formatting files some other way, I'm not sure. But um, if you're in my class, you can go to the course files here on Moodle. And what you want to do is download this one called chicago.zip. It has just downloaded to my desktop. Uh, actually, to my downloads folder. Let me let's see. I'm going to open it. My archive manager is opening up. It says extract. I want to extract it to. Um, let's make a new folder called Jabref, just so I know where it is. And let me get this up where you can see. Extract. Okay. Now let's tr go and make sure that went where I was trying to make it go. Yeah, there it is. Okay, and inside the folder called Chicago is a bunch of files that I had to edit to make things turn out the way I want. So now what you do, th now that you've got that uh, bunch of files and you know where it is, go back to Jabref and you want to choose under the Options menu, do Manage Custom Exports and then click Add New. And I'm going to sh call this Chicago. And the main layout file, what you want to do is find what we just saved under... it's in this Jabra folder in here. You want to choose the one that says Chicago.layout and then Open. And then the file extension, do asterisk.rtf, press enter. Okay, and now you should have the option to export in the Chicago style. Let's try it. Do uh, file, export, and now here we'll go back up and we should have the new option. Yes, there it is, Chicago. And I'm going to, oops, let's find, let's go back to desktop. Um, and I'm going to call this one Chicago bib. I'm going to save it and then go back to the desktop where I put it. Okay, this is the file. This is the first one in the Harvard format and this is the new one in Chicago. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Ta-da! Now it has the formatting for the Chicago Manual of Style. You might have to do a little bit of editing. Here I see two periods where probably there ought to be one, but it's got the date in the correct place and um, everything looks the way I want it for Chicago Manual of Style. Now you might also want to do hanging and dents, and so you can do that just with the regular formatting that you do in a word processor. But that's how you get Jabref to export to Chicago style.